You may be asking yourself, what does 170 year old champagne taste like? Maybe you're not, but some people now know. After recovering shipwreck beer that spent 170 years on the bottoms of the ocean, scientists got a taste of that and they found it terrible, smelling like goat and overripe cheese, right? But what about champagne? Does that improve with age? Apparently bottles of the stuff recovered from the same wreckage have a cheesy aroma married with animal notes, but it's much better. Scientists discovered that the vintage bubbly was considerably sweeter than what we're accustomed to today. Furthermore, lab analysis revealed that the seabed offers an ideal preservation condition for champagne and provided us with an intriguing snippet of the history of 19th century winemaking. Pretty interesting stuff. This is published in a book, The Proceeding of National Academy of Sciences. That is not a book. It's a research collection thing. Whatever. The old bottles of champagne were discovered in 2010 inside a shipwreck in the bottom of the Baltic Sea, close to the Aland Islands. Alongside five bottles of beer, they found 168 bottles of champagne. Now, many of these were auctioned off for upwards of tens of thousands of dollars. Pretty desirable stuff apparently if you're a collector. And although the labels didn't survive 170 years in salt water, researchers managed to trace the bottle's origins to Vivu, Clicoque, Ponsardin, Highstick, and Juglar based on brandings left on the corks. Pretty interesting stuff. Now, some people said the champagne tasted pretty good. After the tasting session, some samples were brought into the lab for analysis, which revealed some fascinating insights about the wine making process at the time. The first and what's probably the most interesting is there was an absurd amount of sugar in this. So modern day champagne doesn't have any sugar added into it at all. Meanwhile, these scientists, these uh, brewmasters, whatever they call them, were introducing grape syrup prior to the corking process, meaning that each liter had around 140 grams of sugar, which is an absurd amount of sugar. That is a lot. Now, some other interesting stuff, Russians, Russian wine at the time, had even more, typically 300 grams of sugar per liter, which is incredi incredibly a lot. Um, samples also contained wood tannins, meaning that the champagne was fermented in wooden barrels, most likely. And all things considered, pretty interesting stuff describing the champagne as, quote, cheesy with notes of wet hair and animals. When swirled around a little bit, the samples became spicy, smoky, and fruity, some also picking up on honey and truffles. So if you're wondering what a 170,000, 170 year old champagne tastes like, there you have it. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below, folks, and don't forget to subscribe.